Okay, let's talk affordable beauty and specifically beauty products that are under 20 euro. This video is inspired by a recent feature I did in the RTE guide. They asked me if I would like to do a piece and I was like, yes. So I wrote about some beauty products that are, well, not quite under 20. Thanks so much to Elle from the RTE guide for asking me to do it. I was delighted. And the pressure was on to pick some Whopper products. And yes, while I do love my high-end beauty products, I do love a bargain too. Here are the products that I would totally recommend to a friend and to you, because we're pals. This is the Andrew Fitzsimons Body Volume Blow Dry Hold Spray, and it's for thin and fine hair. That's me. Now, I did get my hair cut and coloured a couple of weeks ago, which I absolutely love. This product is incredible for giving volume to the hair. Um, so this is available in Ireland in Boots. I'm not sure about um outside of Ireland, if it's just like exclusive to Boots, but it says, the Blow Dry Hold Spray enables you to create the perfect disco ready blowout. I don't go to discuss. It lifts the roots to add volume and secure big brushable tresses that maintain flexibility. Sorry, it's very hard. My eyeballs are not the way they used to be. How I use this is I'll wash my hair and then I let it towel dry for a little bit and I start to section it at the roots. So I'll take a section like this and I'll give it a spray. Now it's one of those <laughs> sprays. It's not a, pfft. you know what I mean? It's not like a fine mist. It's a squirt. So I'll go sh there and I'll go to the next section sh 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 all the way around here. And then I'll do it at the crown of my hair and I'll kind of work that in with my hands. So then I'll spray it into the ends of the hair too and comb it through just to make sure all of the hair is encapsulated by this product. And then I flip my hair upside down. That is actually the extent of, when I say I blow dry my hair, that's just what I do. Flip it upside down, dry it, brushing it as I go. And I try to brush my hair in the opposite direction. So see on this side, the way the hair falls this way, I brush it that way to kind of give that extra bit of volume. When it's dry, it's so swishy and voluminous and I can run my fingers through my hair really nicely because you know the way, as somebody with fine, thin hair, and we've tried like different volumizing products over the years, sometimes they can leave your hair like sticky and gritty and I'm not a fan of this. Whereas with this, I can run my fingers through my hair so easily. Then the extra bonus, I can get an extra day or two out of my hair without having to wash it. This is, so good and I'd say I have about this much left and I start to get nervous so then yesterday I bought another one I'm ready to go that keep me going for ages next on my list is the Note Cosmetique or No Cosmetics BB Cream this I've spoken about this for years and it is an absolutely gorgeous BB Cream if you love something that's like has like a decent bit of coverage like usually BB Creams have a bit more lightweight coverage but this one has like a medium coverage it's buildable but it has the most beautiful skin-like finish. Like it gives me radiance, like I don't know what. It's so good. It sits really nicely on my skin. I usually have to powder down the center of my face, but once I do, this stays in place all day. It is absolutely gorgeous. The only downside when it comes to note is that the shade numbers are quite limited. So you do have to kind of look for your shade. And I have found that they can be quite yellow toned as well. Now I like that because I have a lot of redness in my skin and the yellow counteracts that, but it's just worth noting. But I think out of all of the affordable drugstore pharmacy brands that I have ever tried in all my years doing this, I think Note has the best value for money when it comes to bases. Like the only one that I could think of that came second was Bourgeois. They're gone from Ireland, but I think they're coming back hope they are their foundations are fab but this one is so good and I also love the mineral foundation too and then they brought out an anti-blemish one last year or the year before I if I do have video I think I have videos showing these in action if I do I leave them linked below okay so when I was in space sorry this is my um <laughs> my bag of bits when I was going to the airport last week I brought this one with me so this is from Zara why do I say it like that? Zara. And it's called Orange Flower Bloom. So I love the rollerball. I bought this in Spain last year, but I think they have them here. Um, if not, I know that they have the larger versions of this. Now, this smells like zesty, citrusy, bright, uplifting. And when I was in a garden centre a couple of weeks ago, a lady came up to me and she was like, what perfume are you wearing? You smell lovely. And I was like, it was this. It was only a fiver in Zara. Now, that was a fiver in Spain. I don't know how much that would be here. You know the way the prices are different. But again, this is like one of those really inoffensive scents, I think. Do you know, it'd be like a people pleaser because it has florally slash citrusy scents. I'm not going to put it on. But again, because it's a rollerball, if I'm about to like walk into somewhere and like meet somebody who's going bonk, done. Do you know, you don't have to be like, psh, psh. no surprise at all. We have the Up Cosmetics Pink Rosé Blush. This is a cream blush. 
and this is 20 euro. I'm not wearing it today, I have something else on my cheeks today. I will link the video, last week's video, I have that makeup on. This is like my long wear foundation makeup routine for the airport. But this, this is such, the tone of this I really like. I love the texture of it as well because you can get cream blushes that are too slippy or then ones that are too dry and they end up like dragging your foundation underneath it. And this one is the perfect one for me. I can apply it with my fingers if I want. I can go in with it with a brush or with a makeup sponge as well. And it has that, let me show you the, the color here. It has that perfect blend of like peachy, pinky, coraliness and has a slight sheen to it as well. It's so flattering on the skin. And I really love cream and liquid blushes when it comes to the spring and the summer as well because I feel like on more mature skin 46 year old skin it just looks that bit more youthful and they're easier to work with because sometimes if you use powder foundations when you're that bit older depending on the formula they can look a little bit cakey but with this one it just gives you that like it's springtime lashing on my face do I apply too much of this yes I do if you head to my Instagram I have a few reels showing this in action next up is the Hilden Beauty what is it? Silk Shimmer Shadow in the shade Gilded Gold. I have it on my eyes today. And I used it in last week's video if you want to go and have a little look. It's stunning. Every time I wear this out and about, I have people going, oh my God, what's on your eyes? Or, oh my God, that's gorgeous. And it, it's just that perfect shade for, for me. And I think for all eye colours, to be honest. The formula, you can see I packed it on if you watched last week's video, you'll see how I apply it to get like a finish like this. But you can sheer it out as well if you want to use like a fluffier brush or just use a lighter touch. You know me, I like to pack it on. The formula is beautiful and I hope they bring out more shades because it's just gorgeous. I'm thinking like, like a champagne colour and then like, like a burgundy colour or bronzy colour. But that's what I have on today. Okay, next up we have the Sculpted Liquid Lights in Pink Champagne. I have a video on this where I compared this to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight or, or Pillow Talk, one of them. This is such good value. You get the same amount of this as you do in the Charlotte Tilbury version. And when I did a blind test on Instagram where I applied both of them to my face and asked people to vote on which one they preferred, this one won. And I was like, why did you prefer that? People were saying it just looked smoother, more natural on the skin. And that's what I really like about it as well. I also enjoy the packaging because we know that I love giving out about the packaging of those beauty light wand things. Um, but this is just like one of those little apply it onto the back and apply it onto your cheeks. I don't have it on today. And this will last me for ages. I know that for an absolute fact. There's a gold one as well that I have. I must actually give that a go. But I just really like the tone of this. I think it's nice on paler skin tones. Next up, we have the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. And this is one of those cleansers that I go to time and time again. I've gone through bottles of this over the years because it's affordable. What I like about this is that it has ceramides and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's not going to strip your skin at all. Ceramides are going to help to like rebuild your skin's barrier, help to protect your skin's barrier as well. So in the colder months and even in the warmer months as well, skin barrier issues is something that I'm always struggling with. So I want to keep my skin barrier nice and protected, nice and strong to keep that hydration in. It says that this is for a normal to dry skin, but I have combinations. So I have like normal cheeks and oily T-zone and it works brilliantly on that too. And you can use it on your face and body as well. It's fragrance free, it's soap free. If you find that your cleansers can be a bit stripping, definitely give this a go. I'm very particular about my concealer and this is one of the best ones that I've ever used. It's from Sculpted and it's their Satin Silk Concealer. Somebody with more mature skin and especially my eyes can be quite dry underneath. You need to consider the first isn't going to crease, that isn't going to move all around my face. That's going to give me the coverage that I want and that's not going to dry out my skin. It glides onto the skin so beautifully and you know what, at a push you could spread it out over the skin as a foundation. The colour range is really inclusive and I think I did do a video on the foundation that I love as well. But if you're in the market for a concealer that's going to hide everything under your eyes and it works as well all over the face, definitely give this a go. I'm wearing this today and it's the Note Full Bloom Lash Mascara. I think this is their best one yet and I have tried, I think I've tried them all so far unless they brought out a new one and I don't know about it. It just has like a really normal wand, like it's actually quite narrow or quite um slim, the wand itself, but you can really build up 
the coverage, you can build up the layers, you can build up the volume. Um, I only have one coat on today because so I was like, no, just go for like a nice ladylike daytime appropriate look. The small brush means that you can get those lower lashes. And it has lash conditioning ingredients in there as well. So not only are you going to get lots of volume and thickness and length and oomph and curl and separation, but you're looking after your lashes too. And I really like that. I actually could do a whole video on uh, affordable mascaras because I love trying them out. Like it takes a very special high-end mascara to make me go towards that as opposed to budget ones because like at the moment I love this one I love the Rimmel one I love the sculpted one and on me it doesn't clump or smudge or flake if you find that your mascara does smudge under your lashes try applying powder just under the lashes on your skin under the lashes before you apply this because majority of the time the product when it comes in contact with the oils on your skin that's what helps to break it down so if you can just create that little bit of a barrier under your eyes or even up here if, as well if it transfers and um, give that a go. So good. I actually bought this bottle for the feature and then I ended up like not using it because I was like, oh, this is so hard to like whittle down. I only had room for 10 in the feature and it's the Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm somebody that has very sensitive eyes. I have reactive skin. I can use products that I've used for weeks and weeks and months and months and then all of a sudden just get a reaction out of nowhere. When it comes to me and regular facial cleansers I tend not to apply them to my eyes because even though they mightn't irritate my eyes at the time the next morning I'll wake up and they'll feel like dry and like crusty and just not nice even if it says oh it's suitable for sensitive eyes I'm just like <laughs> not my eyes so I will always take my makeup off with the micellar cleanser and this is one that I go back to time and time again so I bought as I said this one this one was 12 95 from Mars Pharmacy Upper Bagot Street and that's for the 200 mils there is a larger one that I can't remember how much it is but this is just so good at taking off your eye makeup without irritating your eyes. Oh, be lost. So I'll put it on cotton pads and then I'll leave the cotton pads sitting on my eyes for just a couple of minutes and I'll kind of pat around my eyelashes. I know it's weird, but it's nice. And then I'll swipe away and I'll try not to like rub my eye as much as I can. When I do use it predominantly on my eyes, I sometimes will use it on the rest of my face just to remove my makeup. And then I will go in and cleanse my skin properly with a cleanser without going near my eyes. So this isn't a cleanser to me. It's, this is a makeup remover. So just maybe use that to remove your makeup and then you can cleanse your skin with that. Um, yeah, I always like to, because I always figure when it comes to double cleansing, like that first cleanse, just gets rid of your makeup. It's not cleansing your skin underneath. It's the second cleanse. That's where the magic happens. But if you're looking for something gentle on the eyes, definitely get this gone. So good. Gone through bottles and bottles and bottles over the years. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for now because I could talk about products for ages. Maybe I'll make this a series where I talk about budget-friendly products. Lads, there are some brilliant ones out there. And those are just a few, just a few of the ones that I love and that I will like recommend all the time. I'd love to know what are your favorite affordable products? Let me know in the comments. Not that I need any. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Okay, bye.